Your payouts are on hold until you update your account details. Please update by February 18th, 2021 to avoid further restrictions. Click on the link here to update your account details. Done that 15 times. Talk to 15 people. Everything on this manage payments is currently completely screwed up. None of it makes sense. The amounts don't add up. Nothing works. Roll the intro. Is the problem that I have been having with eBay ever since January 15th. Now, why this specific date? This is the date that I updated my eBay from being an individual account to a business account. Now, the reason why I did that was because I needed to be able to post certain items on eBay, which only businesses are allowed to post. Those items could be, let's say, baby pampers or baby formula or some other stuff like that, where it's, it's asking to be a business account in order for you to be able to do it in order for you not to inflate the pricing in the market and all this kind of stuff, only businesses are allowed to post those items. So I went ahead and I registered. Um, finally, I registered my actual shop name with the IRS. Um, until then, I was actually just using it as an individual, kind of like a sole proprietor, which is the same exact thing. There's no difference. If you're an individual, you're basically a sole proprietor. Um, before this whole system update with eBay, with the managed payments and all that, there was no requirements to be a business or anything like that, to list certain items and things like that. There was no, uh, no requirement to have a EIN number, which is, um, employer identification number. Um, there was none of that, but ever since this update, they're requiring you to have that now. So you can do that. So you can go to IRS website and you can register your business in three different ways. You can uh, register it uh, as an EIN uh, type of uh, registration, which is kind of like a sole proprietor. Well, actually, it is a sole proprietor, not kind of. Um, you can also register as a uh, single person LLC. And also you can do it as a big LLC company. Now, LLCs are paid. Um, both versions of them, the single one and the multiple big version of the LLC. Those are bo both paid uh, yearly. The single um, sole proprietor type of an account, which is the one that just gives you an EIN number, uh, that one you don't have to pay for. As far as I know, um, I'm not sure if it was because of my state or anything like that, but I believe for everybody, you can register a business on the IRS website and you get an EIN number generated and it'll send you an email and that's completely free of charge. Now you can use that EIN number to set up an eBay account to set up a business one because eBay requires you just to have a first, last name, an address of the business and that EIN number. So I went ahead and registered it. It worked fine for about, that was on, on the 15th by the way, it worked fine for about maybe a couple of days, maybe I would say four days or so. And then they start showing me this message again where I just need to uh, update my de account details, uh, asking me for extra information and go so on and so forth. Now, originally, when you register for this on eBay, you don't have to update your or upload a IRS document or anything like that. Um, but when this message starts popping up, it's going to eventually not be not, not take your information that you're putting in correctly. It won't take it in at all, even though it is perfectly correct and legit. And it'll eventually ask you to upload some sort of a file to prove that this is you or this is your business name and all this kind of stuff. And that's what I did with the IRS document. I've uploaded it. Um, from this point on, this goes to their team. They review it, which is the managed payments team. That's where it goes. Uh, they review that. And within about a day or, or even less than a day of now, now when I submit them again, it just comes back within like a couple of seconds, actually. And they're saying that it doesn't match up or whatever reason. Now, what do we do from here? You call eBay. I've called them maybe in the past seven to 10 days, probably 15 times. I've talked to 15 different people and maybe up to about five to six different supervisors um, at the managed payments team department or whatever you know, call those guys. So for your information, just let me tell you guys the background of managed payments. Managed payments is something that eBay took over um, from PayPal, I guess I would want to call, but it's not even PayPal. They're not even taking over PayPal. What happened was eBay was using PayPal as their payment option. 
um, and to do all their managing of all the payments, uh, sales, uh, payouts, uh, fees, whatever, all that was done through PayPal. Then eBay decided to make their own and you know, pretty much do their own stuff. But are they? Because I don't think they are. What eBay has done, and I found this out through many, many, many people's research, and one, one person at eBay slipped and said that eBay managed payments is not actually eBay. It's not actually, they didn't even create it. It's actually a third party company called Aiden. A Y, uh, sorry, A D Y E N. So that alone, that company is a managed payment secured company or security company or something like that. They are the third party company that are linked to eBay. They are the ones that have the big guns. They are the ones that control this whole system here and trying to. Uh, but eBay is advertising it as they're doing it themselves. Now, why am I saying that? Well, after the research of me trying to resolve my issue on my account, and nobody has been able to update this account, even though multiple people on the line, uh, agents and supervisors have reviewed both documents, the ones that I've put onto the eBay and the one that I've provided, which is from the IRS, and they're all agreeing with me that everything is in legit and working order, is just for some reason the website will not recognize my account. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but eBay has uh, two different systems, I guess you want to call it, or two different uh, departments. That'll be a better word. Um, those departments are front of the house, which are the people that are actually talking to you guys on uh, when you guys request any kind of callbacks or anything like that. And then there's the back of the house people, which they don't have phones over there. Nobody can call them. Nobody can access uh, them. They can only be... Uh, reached by chat via the eBay front of the house people um, or reached by email via the people from front of the house at eBay. Now, you as a customer and the seller or the buyer or whatever, when you're trying to talk to eBay, you're talking to the front of the house people. They have very limited access, very limited. So from this point on, step two into trying to resolve this update account details information uh, is to escalate that to the back of the house, which are the people with no phones, the people that can only take chats and only take emails. Now, these people are supposedly some sort of an eBay managed payment security team, and uh, that's supposedly their security system, and they, they, they double check, make sure people's information is correct and all this kind of stuff, make sure people are not making duplicate accounts under somebody else's name and stuff like that. Those people are supposed to review this information and manually manually re-enter them somehow into the system into a point where this message should go away. Should. Now, they've done that. They said it takes about 24 to 48 hours for, 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 the, for it to, to get some sort of a response from them. And uh, they did get a response from them. Uh, the front of the house people did get a response from them. And they said that the information does match, but they need to escalate it further to some other security company. They kept using the word other uh, very often. All the agents that I've spoke to, but that one person, they always say some other security company that's backs their back of the house people. And I'm like, wait a second. I thought there was only two departments there. Front of the house, back of the house, call it a day at eBay, right? They say, well, no, in reality, there is another company that also backs that company. And I'm like, okay. So who's that company? They won't give me a name. So I'm stuck there. They're like, well, we're still waiting for them to reply that other company, that other company. They're waiting for them to reply. I'm like, well, you guys said that the back of the house people should be able to do this and they verify that everything is agreed. You have agreed in the front of the house as well. What's the problem with me, of you updating my account so I can have things running? They're like, I'm sorry, we have to do it this way. Um, so now we're waiting for the other company. After me speaking to multiple other people on eBay and multiple hours on the line, we got to one person, one gentleman. Um, I'm not sure exactly what his name was or something. It sounded like something with a J. I don't remember what it was. 
but he's the one that was actually kind of trying to help me out. He had an older system onto his computer, which they, they can uh, manually kind of uh, request a forced update on what's happening with somebody's accounts. And then uh, he sent that in and within the same call, maybe within the same about five to 10 minutes as we were on a call, he got a response back from them and it says, hey, this is no longer a department where you can be reaching for this sort of issues. You have to go to the back of the house only. No more, uh, please do not ask us about handling this sort of a matter any longer. So that person got rejected completely from that. So he kind of got upset because eBay kind of yelled at him for even trying to help somebody out. And he was like, I can't believe they even, they even just said that to me. I'm just trying to help you get, uh, you out as much as I can. I'm like, hey man, I appreciate you trying to do that. I don't want you to lose your job or anything like that over my my case over here. Uh, but just explain to me how this works. How is this front of the house, back of the house in this other company? And he's like, let me tell you this. So the other company is basically the company that that everybody that everybody doesn't know about. And it's a company backing managed payments itself. So I'm like, well, are they the creators of it or something? Or like, no, we kind of just partnered with them and we just put them on our website and they're the ones that manage everything. And I'm like, okay, so your back of the house managed payments people basically don't do much then. They're like, well, yeah, they do a lot of it. They can do most of it. They have a lot of access to managing it on our websites, but the system itself is based off of somebody else's managed payments uh, deal or, or whatever you want to call it. So the creation of somebody else. So to make things more simple, um, he straight up said that company name is Aiden or something like that. I didn't know how to spell it at first um, until until just today, which is the day I'm actually filming this, um, because I was trying to see, I think he said Aiden or Odin or something like that. And it was over a phone call, so I didn't know how to spell it. So I didn't really ask him how to spell it as well. I was like, okay, good, that's good information. I wrote that name down. I tried to research it anywhere online. I couldn't find anything on that company or anything like that. But then today I tried to chat with somebody on purpose through chat and I mentioned the company Aiden. I'm like, hey, look, if you guys are not trying to escalate this with Aiden or something like or with with uh, this other company, which is Odin or Aiden or something like that, that's what I said on the chat, then let me call them and find out what it is. He's and the, that gentleman was like, let me try to find out the let me try to try to find out the account number for a Aiden. And he spelled it out for me. A D Y E N. As soon as I got that. I got on Google right away because I'm, you know, uh, trying to figure this out. I got on Google and I researched the name and it shows up as uh, as a managed payments team um, for eBay or something like that. And it gives me a bunch of numbers for different state or different countries where they're all uh, kind of like doing business with. Uh, United States is in there as well. They have a phone number. It's a 24-7 number. You can call it anytime and you will get somebody on the line within seconds, not hours and minutes and, and days didn't call you back type of stuff with eBay. Seconds, they picked up right away. So they're a large company. Now, when they picked up, I talked to a lady right away. She's like, hey, look, I'm just gonna need that six digit number that eBay uh, that eBay has filed your account and I'll escalate that right away so we can get you uh, updated and going right away. Very helpful lady. She was like, let's get it done now. And I'm like, okay, great. Let me, I'm still on the, on the line on the chat with those uh, eBay people. Let me see if I can get that number. I go to try to get this, uh, this number from this uh, this person that just gave me the name of Aiden, and he gave me this long number. And I'm like, no, my friend, this is not the number. It's a six digit number. I told you the lady is asking for a six digit number that you guys requested this update to be, to be done with Aiden, right? So if you guys filed a claim with them, you should have that claim number. Well, that claim number is attached to my account or my specific uh, issue that I have here so they can update that. They're like, uh, sorry, we can't, we can't really provide you that information. That's only between us, eBay, uh, and that company. And I'm like, but you're not doing your job. If you can just, if you can have one of your supervisors literally just call them right now, which they pick up within seconds, they can get this updated and over with within seconds. What's the problem here? Well, they said, we're, well, I apologize, but uh, the way we do things, we have to do it the, the, the eBay way, which is uh, we emailed them, we told them about the issue, we filed the claim, and we just have to wait until they reply, and they usually take about five days to reply. 
Now this is another three days from now, and this is now, now we're filming this on the 25th, uh, the day of the video that's actually being released right now. So it's been since the 15th, they should have done this. And no, nobody has done that until last Saturday, I'm, I believe, is when they filed the thing with Aiden. And now I have to wait till Wednesday to hear back from Aiden via the email or something like that, because eBay cannot pick up the phone and simply just call and they'll verify that in just a second. What do you get out of this? This video, what do you guys get out of this video? If you guys have any uh, similar experiences, please let me know down below. I believe that resellers should know about this, should know about uh, this Aiden company. They should know about uh, managed payments and how they're actually handled. Um, I suggest new sellers, uh, as of right now, if you're trying to sell things that you're not allowed to sell on eBay or you're gated to sell or you want to call it, just don't sell it. Do not update your account to business accounts because you're going to have to go through this complete garbage. Don't do it. Just stay as an, as an individual. Now, this, this does not help you if you have a store or if you don't have a store. Me personally, I do not have a store on eBay right now. Um, I am just, just a regular user. They do give me this, uh, the 200 uh, free listings just like everybody else. They do increase my amounts. I can sell every month pretty much as I request. So it's the same thing as you not having a store. Just store makes things more organized in your actual eBay accounts. And that's just about it. It doesn't give you any extra privileges other than obviously using Terapeak and other research uh, options that they have on the eBay website. So don't think that you getting a store is gonna make a di uh, difference. Now, I don't know if this is just me that this happened to. Uh, so sellers, please drop uh, in the comments, let me know if this has happened to you before and how long it took to resolve. I'll be happy to, uh, to reply and chat with you on the comments below. Uh, if anybody else has any more information on how to resolve this issue exactly, please let me know as well. That would be awesome. Uh, that would help out other people as well. Now I have another video that is going to be coming out and it has to do with eBay uh, first class shipping. And please stay tuned for that. That's going to be next week. Um, that's something that I also am going to be speaking with uh, the Chris at Daily Refinement. Um, I spoke to him uh, on the phone and uh, we agreed to, uh, to make a video on that. Uh, please stay tuned for his video uh, and go check out his channel, which I'll link below in the description. Um, he's a very informative uh, person about eBay and um, and basically the algorithm and, and numbers and all that kind of stuff. So I've learned a lot from him. Um, please um, make sure you guys smash that like button and uh, subscribe below as well. So you, uh, you guys can get, keep updated on the content that I put out. I hope you guys learned something today and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. You